Hi everyone, it's Dasher Dave here again. I'm back for another crafty video. So today I want to make a fabric samples book for Margot because she's going to be redecorating the office. Now this was in this was a um, something that was inspired by one of my lovely uh, commenters, but I can't remember who and I can't find the comment and I have tried and I'm really sorry, but it was inspired by you anyway. So you will know who you are and you can, you can go me, me, me in the comments, okay? So, we're going to make some kind of a fabric sample book. Okay, so what I wanted to do was, I knew I wanted one of these things, which I've, I've just like taken the whole craft room apart trying to find this. Um, <laughs> I thought I had two, but I don't, I have one. Well, I might have two, but who knows, the other one is hiding somewhere. It's playing hide and seek with me. So. I've got these and I've had the most fun ever coming up with colour names for them. Now they are a bit tongue in cheek, okay, um, and they are, you know, maybe, you know, um, taking the Michael um, on some things. <laughs> so taking the Michael, mm, I don't know whether that translates to, <laughs> to every country, but um, like uh, tongue in cheek, basically, it means it's, um, it's, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, there is another version of the taking the Michael that is less, um, uh, less uh, YouTube friendly. Um, <laughs> trying to think of the words. So, and this is what I wanted to do, and I thought I could give them a header card because I think that they want to have some kind of a header card on them. Um, and I thought I'd do that in this, which make it kind of look a bit old. And we'll talk about the colours. <laughs> they are making me laugh so <laughs> uh, so we'll just go on with it shall we this was I'm kind of working out a couple of projects um, and this was kind of an offcut from a project so I thought I could oh excuse me oh. <laughs> suddenly started to yawn I don't know why um, lack of oxygen to the brain that's probably all the talking I do um, I don't know I don't know why so I was thinking about having, I don't know, it's a, oh, that's the wrong side though. I like to do everything, so, uh, this has come up recently that, um, what sizes do I use? Well, I use, I try to use inches, and the reason I try to use inches is not because inches is my native uh, go-to measurement, uh, metric would be, but I realise that a lot of people around the world still use, uh, especially I have a lot a high proportion of American uh, viewers and you still use inches. So I try to do everything in inches for you. Um, and that's why I stumble sometimes over it when I'm trying to work out the eight and, you know, nine eighths. No, you can't have nine eighths, Dave, because that would be, <laughs> make it nine and one eighth. Um, <laughs> so this is, the, this is the problem I have. So I stumble over that because it's not, my common um, measurement, go-to measure. So I wanted to, I was thinking about having a half an inch um, piece. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna score at half, uh, score at an inch and score at half an inch as well. I don't know why I did the inch first and then the half an inch, because I've been fool, a fool, Dave, maybe. Um, and then do that again and again. So yes, yeah, so I tried to do in inches so that you guys know what I'm talking about, um, whereas centimetres would come much easier to me. And I also find centimetres much easier to divide by 10, etc. because I know the lingo. I know that half of, of one centimetre is half a centimetre, but I also know that a quarter of a centimetre is a quarter of a centimetre, and I know that a tenth of a centimetre is a millimetre. So... Um, whereas I don't know that necessarily the, the language and I have to look at it and work it all out. So I apologize if you feel that I'm quite clumsy over measurements, um, but it not being my, my go-to measure, I think I should have done this. I should have cut it first, Dave, and then scored it because that's not going to be easy. Um, but I'm doing my best for you. So um, 
I am trying. <laughs> it's been said I'm very trying at times. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So I'm sorry if that kind of has caused, I know that's caused issues for some people. Some people have been a bit annoyed about it, but you know, hey. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful for those people who have been annoyed about it for not putting it on a public forum and actually just telling me. I've just thought, if I'm gonna bend this over like this, is that gonna be able to encapsulate that? I'm, I'm gonna to have to tell you now, this is gonna make me cringe. The idea of putting fabric, especially something with this nice pile on it against this paper is gonna make set my teeth on edge. So, oh no, it's fine. I thought I didn't know whether I might have to make a bigger crease. Um, which is good, really, because I just need to, I need to handle that as least, as least, least as possible. Yeah, job there. <laughs> as little as possible. That's what I was trying to think of. So, it could go horribly wrong. It could go horribly right. It could go horribly left. It could go horribly right. What? Shut up, Um, what? Shut up. So just gonna score this and I'm not worried that it's not perfect it doesn't marry up on both sides it's not it's not a biggie it's you're not really going to be able to tell it's only there to kind of give a bit of a um, an anchor for the top of the, the fabric um, So I've been sat here this morning making a couple of uh, samples. I did some last night. I didn't get as many done as I thought I might. Um, so I did some more so that I can start working on new projects. So I'm trying to be a, a little bit ahead. So I'm making stuff so that I can show you. So and then <coughs> have know what I'm com what's coming up in the future now. Um, I will just say, I am toying with having, bear with me, so this should be aired on Monday, so this is Monday's video, so I'm toying with having specific days for specific things, so I was thinking of having um, Mondays as a make day, so just making something, not necessarily telling you how, or you know, a process video or anything like that, but just a making video. Wednesday I was thinking of having as a box day a great way to break up the week you can have a new box that um, you know something that I've been working on etc and have Wednesdays as box day and then maybe Fridays as having Fridays for like file folders or um, fun makes or basic basically more of a free day but free day Friday <laughs> free day Friday um, and you know uh, it might be some of my Etsy stuff or whatever. So, so yes, I do have an Etsy. I know a few of the people have asked me that. So I've realised I've got I've gained a few followers. I'm very grateful for anybody that is new here. I'm very grateful for anybody that's old here. And I'm not suggesting that I'm talking about your age. So we'll just put that one to bed now. So, um, so yes, I'm uh, I'm grateful for everybody that's watching that's you know whether you've been here for donkeys ages or you're new to the channel so but yeah that's the kind of format i'm toying with and simply because otherwise if i make all boxes in a week it can get a bit boring because i always make all my videos on the sunday so i have two days off in the week so i have a saturday off and a sunday off so when i say off i mean off from my day job because i work full time um and so I spend my Saturdays, the mornings I spend doing racing around, doing jobs around the house, snuggling the dog on the sofa, um, and shopping and all of those things, those boring things that you have to do as an adult. Um, and then on a Sunday, sorry, and then in the afternoon I make um, prototypes for the channel or um, sit and have brainstorming about what I'm going to do, etc. Um, and then on a Sunday, I spend the morning. Um, I have a, a bit of a lie-in because I don't really get to lie-in in my job. I, um, I am on 
24 hour call out as well as working a full time job. So, um, so I do a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, so I work, I work probably around some weeks I can do, you know, I, I'm actually contracted for 37 hours, but I'm a manager, so I kind of get okay, whatever, I, I work whatever hours the business needs me. Um, but I get paid for 37 hours. Um, and I, uh, sometimes I can do 37 hours and sometimes I can do 58 hours a week or sometimes I could do 64 hours a week or whatever. And then I have, although I have Saturdays and Sundays off, I am still on 24 hour call out just in case the building and alarm goes off or there's an emergency or whatever so on one of our sites because that's what I manage I manage sites I manage anything that is to do with resources that isn't a, a human resource so any physical resources so no Dave I want to ink these and make these look old first um so yes yeah, so, so uh, I'm, I'm, my days get quite full sometimes I have to say look I'm gonna mass make lots of things just get it done and then I have a bit more time to myself because I do have mental health problems I am autistic there are times when I just cannot it doesn't matter how how much I love craft and it really does help me it is my therapy there are times when I am not physically able to do it because I am in a crisis so for those of you that didn't know I'm autistic I am um I have what's called high functioning autism um, and I have spoken about it in length on previous videos which and I won't bore you with it um, but it's it's a challenge so uh, so I do get anxiety so I understand anybody that deals with anxiety I get anxiety um, about all sorts of stuff so anyway I'm just gonna shabby this down a little bit so it looks like it's in in a book for a while um, I don't want to go too over the top because I still want it to be able to hold my fabric. So yeah, I try to do, try to get stuff done for you. But there are times when there are th bigger makes that I'd love to do, but I just don't get round to it because I've got so much going on. Oh, by the way, um, I have bought, so I did buy myself some more pads ink pads so this is what i've bought myself so i hadn't got frayed burlap i don't know why but i hadn't got it um i couldn't get a large ground espresso so i only I've had to go for a small ground espresso these are the ones that of the pads that were uh, are particularly see this has gone like very shiny on the surface and it really doesn't have a lot of ink in it anymore so i wanted to replace it However, they hadn't got any of the larger ones, so I went for a smaller one. Um, I've got Rusty Hinge, which I'd only previously only ever had in a small one, but that's gone shiny as well um, because that's drying up. Um, so I've now got a larger version, so they'll be nice and inky. And then I've got Brushed Cordroy. So again, I think I had Brushed Cordroy in a small one, which has again gone shiny. And I think I also had it in a bigger version, uh, which was also suffering at the hands of time again it's kind of got that shiny sheen on that surface so so i've bought those i'd like there are more vintage photo i still need to have some more of um gathered twigs um walnut stain i need um but i just can't afford it so um i will make do with what i've got i know i work all of those hours but like i said I don't get paid for all of those hours. I only get paid for 37 and a half hours a week. So, 37 hours a week, don't even get paid for 37 and a half. What am I talking about, Dave? So, yeah. Um, so, it can be a bit of a challenge. I do get my time back, so I get my, I get what's called toil, so time off in the loo. Um, however, it's not. It's not always easy to take that time off when you're <laughs> when you're doing so many hours. So that's one of the short ones. Don't need that. So 
So yes, um, so that's the reason why I think I'd like to do bigger projects, but I don't necessarily have the time. Um, and I, I do try to reply to everybody's comments, but it might take me a while to get back to you because it has to be a time when I can just sit and trawl through the all the comments and things. Um, but I do try to, anybody that's ever commented, um, I hope I've responded to at least one of yours. And if I haven't done, that's because I haven't got to yet. Um, but please bear with me and I will try to get to you. Um, it's a lot, you know, juggling all of these things. And also, because I have to have downtime, there are times when I'm, I've had a, a meltdown and I am physically just not able to, doesn't matter what I want to do, I'm just not physically able to do it. So, and I have, I've learnt now, I mean, I, I used to give myself a bit of a hard time about that. I want it to be normal, it's normal. Um, I'm trying not to be so hard on myself about that, because it wasn't, it isn't my fault. But the thing is, I had a late diagnosis, so I kind of learnt to blend in for a long time. And then people saying, oh, now you know who you are and what you are, you should be yourself and be free, because it's really damaging to your mental health to kind of hide everything and bottle everything up. Um, but, you know, then when you are yourself and you're very honest, people don't like it, so... So I'm trying to learn to be myself regardless of what other people think. So, um, But I've got to say, craft is one of the things that's going to help me, made me feel like I do fit in a bit more. I think being quirky in craft is a benefit. I think being quirky in society, I think everybody aspires to be a bit quirky. But I tell you now, it's a cross to bear at times. So... I've had meltdowns in shops and all sorts of things. I've been mean, called a Karen, which I'm not having. I'm not asking to speak to the manager. I'm literally just not. Um, not uh, you know, I'm having a bit of a, a crying episode and that sort of thing. And it's not because I want. I haven't. I need my own way, and I'm not getting it. It's because I'm unable to control how I behave. So. Yeah. Um. There are times when I don't mind talking about it, and other times it stresses me out because I feel like, well, you know, I don't want to annoy people and that sort of thing. And that, but it's just me. Anyway, so I'm trying not to focus on it because it also can get me get me down. So anyway, so I had, like I say, I had lots of fun making these um, these colours, which I'm going to tell you in a minute. Um, I just want to kind of get some of this done. So, some of this I might have talked over, or sorry, speeded up, or whatever, talked over. So, I never do a voiceover things. I can't get the sound to marry up, and I just don't have the time to work it all out. So, <laughs> yeah, just wanted to take the the newness off these, make them a bit fluffy. I mean, like you know, I guess I could have just emery boarded it, but like there's a risk that I'll get my fingers, and I've already cut my nails and filed them. I don't want to file them into tapery shapes. If there's a lot of noise outside as well, it's a Sunday in the UK here when I'm filming this. So this is the Sunday before the Monday when you'll see this. Um, and the weather is beautiful. So it's now September. September. I don't know the words, so I won't sing it out loud. Bye, uh, doobie, doobie, doobie. Yeah, so it was September. It, it, no, not what was September. It is September. I don't know. September, one of the dates in September. It's one of the dates in early September. Who knows? My my watch is in flight mode. So, um, September the, yeah, 3rd. So, 3rd of September. And the... Um, sun is out it's beautiful beautiful weather we're you know we're talking um 20s i know that you're not gonna everybody's not gonna know if i talk about 20s i've just talked about using inches because we use metric here uh 23 which is alexa 
What's 23 degrees centigrade in Fahrenheit? 23 degrees Celsius is 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is warm for the UK, especially in September. We're expecting the weather to get cold, cooler. We've had a terrible summer where the weather hasn't been great. Um, so now, now it's September, and now that all the kids are going back into school and etc. etc. Um, now is the time when the weather chooses to be nice. So, and because it's a Sunday, people are out in the garden and they're revving their engines and mowing their lawn. And I had to close the window because next door's dogs were squeaking their squeaky toy, and it was driving me insane. And you know, I love, I love them. Don't get me wrong, but they're yappy and they drive you insane with the squeaky toy because it's not just a squeak squeak every now and again it's squeak 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 so anyway it drives Worcester mad as well he can hear it he can't hear where it's coming from and anybody that's ever ever had a squeaky toy played over the radio and you've got a dog there you go yampy so Yampy, balmy, basically. Uh, mad, nuts. I, I, I always wonder whether these things translate, so I'll try to translate them for you. Um, and I've managed to get, I don't, I don't know what it is. I think I've got hay fever, but it's a bit late in the season, I think, for hay fever. Unless it's the tree pollen, it might be that. No, tree, tree pollen's earlier. I don't know why I've got, but I've got bunged up sinuses and itchy eyes and terrible sleep pattern. Oh, it's just life, basically. So, anyway, let's turn that off. I've got a message from Vic, but I can't read that because I'm doing stuff for you. This problem is I'm seeing Vic tonight. I haven't seen Vic for over a week because he's been looking after his work colleague's dog and... Worcester doesn't get on with other dogs, so he's not been able to come here. But anyway, so, like I say, I've got some fun colours to share with you. So, let's just do that. So I might need to have more header cards, but... So, I'm going to open this because I will tell you the colours we have. So, there are some patterned ones, so... There's these. So I've tried to cut them so that they're all the same length. So we have, this one is called Paradise Dream. This one is called Bazaar Bounty. So as in a, you know, a, a bazaar, a, a market. Uh, and this one is called Carpet Ride. So as in a magic carpet. Okay, so they're, they're less fun. Then we get to the um you get to the other cut so this one is called crushed grape okay now it's a, it's a bit of a bit of a take on maybe some of these you know my versions of those okay so um we have uh what's up next oh this one's called rickety folk as in old people <laughs> you know when you go gray um so <laughs> Uh, make me laugh. Um, we've got black currant cordial. Okay, so cordial in the UK is like a a fruit juice, a very highly concentrated fruit juice that you mix with water. And I realise that black currants aren't very common in in America, but they are here. Um, then we have um, wisteria hysteria. Uh, then we've got chapped lips <laughs> so not worn lipstick we've got chapped lips um we've got <laughs> sailor's socks so my grandma used to say like we used to look at the sky and like you know it what's the weather like outside well is there enough enough um blue in the sky to make a sailor a pair of socks so um so anyway <laughs> moving on uh, then we've got blue rinse which is, you know, um, in the UK back in the 70s and 80s, people used to have, that had grey hair, used to rinse their hair in like a blue T 
tinge for some reason. I have no idea. I know that some level of blue is to make your, you know, anything white look whiter, but it used to make them look blue, that kind of blue. Anyway, so then we've got mustard stain. Okay, then we've got Mountie's jacket. Nothing to do with lumberjack plaid, I promise you. Um, then we've got um, clove pomander. No right persimmons going on here. Um, then we've got <laughs> this one made me laugh because um, I think I was looking for this, and I think Joni was shouting, screaming at the camera when I was asking. I was going, "Oh, where's my? I think I've been using brushed, and I couldn't remember what it was called." And I said, "Brushed antelope." So. Um, I often do that. Uh, some some of the colours, it, I have a real bad short-term memory, so I can't always remember what I've just looked at. Um, but also, I've made a joke, started making jokes out of it now. So, like, I I think I used to call um, whatever the walnut one is, walnut stain. I think I used to call it crusty walnuts. I didn't have a dark brown to call it. Otherwise, if I have a dark brown, I'll call it crusty walnuts. Um. Joe used to find that particularly amusing. So this is brushed antelope in honour of brushed cordray. Um, then we've got seal flippers. Well, this is teal. And I was thinking, what? I can't think of anything. And like, I thought, teal, seal. And then I was like, oh, seal flippers, it's fine. Does it have to like be a colour? I don't know. Um, port sediment. <laughs> Charming, nice. Um, and then we've got... <laughs> this is... Um, Mugger's Ginnel. Okay, so Mugger's Ginnel, a uh, Ginnel in the UK, it, well, certainly in the Yorkshire area of the UK, a Ginnel is like a passageway, an alleyway, like a, a, a narrow gap between houses or buildings. And on a dark night, it would be very dark down there because there's never been any street lights, and so I called it Mugger's Ginnel. Um, <laughs> like I say, I'm easily amused. So, uh, Ginnel, Gunnel, I think it's in over the northeast. It's called a, a, a Gunnel. Down back in Coventry, where I'm from, it would be called an alleyway or a passageway. So it's that. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get on. So <laughs> just made me laugh because I was doing coming up with all of these colours. Um, I don't know, is that going to be big enough? I'm just worried, is it going to be big enough? That's the only thing. If it was an inch, would that be too big? I don't know, you see, now you're going to go, oh, please don't change it. Dave, we've spent ages watching you witter on. But... Um, if I don't like it, I don't like it. And you know what? I'm not sure I like it. I think I think I'm going to go for a wider one. I'm going to go for a. I'm going to go four inch. No, two inches. Two inches, not four inches. Don't want four inches, Dave. I want two inches. Two inches, an inch either side. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get some of these on. So what I was thinking is, I'm going to put this on here. Okay, that way around probably. Um, and then I'm going to glue it on and I'm going to put a poke, a poke, punch a hole out. So I was thinking because I'm gluing, I'm going to use my three in one or my Fabra Kalal three in Kalal. Uh, you know, because I mix the Kalal and the Fabra Tac together. I buy whatever's cheapest really. So, and at the moment, Fabri-Tac. I mean, Fabri-Tac has always been quite expensive in the UK anyway, but like now it is exuberantly so. Anything that comes over here. Tim Holt stuff. All of the new Tim Holt stuff. I would love the Tim Holt stuff. Um, and, you know, I know that uh, there was all that um, I know I got a load of stuff for my birthday, but there's all that of the new Halloween stuff that came out. And some of those things, Joni on Joni's journals has um shared some of the things and I love some of that stuff but no it's just prohibitively expensive in the UK and that's not going to happen um, so 
it's not going to happen <laughs> and that's the way it is I'm going to put, I know this is a horrible thing to do I'm going to put brown and, and grey together I was always told never to put brown and grey together so my mum absolutely hates seeing fellas with grey trousers and brown shoes or brown trousers and grey shoes so or women even not, not just fellas or, or anybody really so is not a fan of the two colours together so I was always told never to put them together so, but I have so I've broken the rules so I think this is the right way to do it to do all of these first and then make the holes otherwise I'll find it I think it'll be hard to put the hole in the same place as the card I'll try and get it on the card, Dave. So all of these bits of fabric that you see, you will either have seen or will see as the backdrops for the um, for the things that I do. So whenever I do a thumbnail, it'll have. I'm just taking these off the more set ones. Um, it'll usually have one of these cloths in the background and that's because they are I get them from the local market um, they come from a haberdashery stall and they have no it's not even haberdashery stall they are a um, curtain fabric shop um, and they have offcuts that are like you know large pieces bigger than my desk bigger than you can see on screen um and they cost a pound so whenever i'm out and about i buy some for me and i buy a few to put away for brian for his christmas box because i like to buy christmasy uh, crafty things for brian so, you know an odd pound here and there is not going to cost me it's not going to break the bank mean to say I don't have to eat or anything so. so I've got a significant proportion of my Christmas gifts already so to give to people I mean I'm a very generous giver and I like everything everything that I do has to be wrapped beautifully so you know I spend a lot of time wrapping not like you know yo not that sort of wrapping, because nobody wants me to do that sort of wrapping. Definitely nobody wants to see me do that. It's like, it's like when, you, <laughs> when you're young and your parents start dancing and you're like, oh, please don't. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Mom, Dad, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> That's what I'm like. So, <laughs> you wouldn't want to see me wrapping. <laughs> not, not that kind of wrapping, anyway. Gift wrapping is okay. You can do that at any age. I'll still dance. Don't worry. It's not. I'm not afraid of anybody seeing me dance. I do look like an out of control lava lamp, but um, I still like to dance. Don't get that on on the pile. That's your, just what you were trying to avoid. Um. So yeah, um, I wanted to make this because we need to build, continue to build the Margot story. I'm hoping that my somebody suggested. Uh, I think it was Tamara suggested that I did a um, for my 500th video did a mock-up of um, Margot's desk um, and 
like I think I've, I've said this before but if I can clear out some space in my cellar um, I will do that there's, there's nowhere around here that I could set up a desk like that kind of setup but I could definitely do it downstairs so so if I can get that sorted I will do it for my 500th video so that's what I'm kind of building towards is getting that done if I can't do it here I might be able to do it at work because we've got our, the built the place where I work is a very old mill building so and some of it looks like it's been decorated in the 60s so Take those off there because they should be set now. Put those on there. Yeah, I'm gonna need two more. Is it two more? Yeah, two more. But you know, it's not bad, is it? Oh, there's one there. bad I didn't even count it wasn't it wasn't even like I was guesstimating I just just did it well I've, I've got some there I've got, that's the one that I cut weird but so I need one more after this so let's just distress this up a bit I did start to distress this gentleman a scholar he's a acrobat now you've met the big panther the ring the big panther Shh. think of all the animals you've ever heard about like rhinoceroses and tigers to cats and mink of all the furry animals in all the world have you ever seen a panther that is pink think a panther that is positively pink yeah, you see, that's the other thing. My brain is just filled with nonsense. Overexposure to media as a child. It's funny. I can remember all of the all the lyrics to things like that, but I can't can't remember where I put the scissors. <laughs> um, let's get the back in for. One more. Uh, are you going to notice that? No, not really. Oh, Dave, you're going to ink it first. No, you're going to distress it first before that. Before you ink it, before you distress it, before you ink it, sorry, before you glue it, before everything else, you've got to distress it first. Like um, I being served, I know the lyrics to that song, that theme tune as well. Every time I get in the lift, though, ground floor perfumery, stationery, and leather goods, gifts and haberdashery, kitchen wearing food going up. Do, 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 do. First floor telephones, gents ready made suits, shirts, socks, ties, hats, underwear, and shoes going up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you've ever seen are you being served, then you're probably thinking, what on earth is he on, a, on about? I uh, don't know. No idea. <laughs> I watched one of my own videos back yesterday. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have a problem watching my own videos at all. Never had a problem with watching myself making a fool of myself. I can't st can't cope with watching other people make a fool of themselves, but I can cope with myself making a fool of myself. Not that I'm making a fool of myself, but you know. Anyway, shut up, Dave. Carry on. Um, so 
I watched one of my videos back and I was like shocked at how many videos, how many advert breaks that YouTube sandwiches in. So I don't, I don't make any money. I'm not monetized, so I don't make any money from it. And I, it was a, I got 20 minutes into a video and there'd been eight breaks with two adverts every time. So 16 adverts. Wow. I mean, it never used to be like that. I'm sure it didn't. So, it's got like American TV, so there's an, there's, the ad breaks are longer than the program. Anyway, enough of me moaning. So, or have you ever heard enough of me moaning? I don't know. So that's actually helped with the, the rigidity and the stupidity. It's, done, it's helped with all of that. <laughs> it's helped with the rigidity. Oh, there you go. See, did say it in the end. Um, and the stability of them. So I was trying to put them together in some kind of fashion. So I was thinking maybe a couple of blues together. So that's like a tealy colour, so uh, I know it's not quite the right you know thing, colour palette, but so orange and then red, I think. Uh then we've got pink and lilac. And then go that way I think pink lilac they might not all be perfectly the same length but it'll be fine um did I not have another pinky color oh, it's that burg more burgundy though isn't it um maybe that like that um then we've got kind of let's go green on the top a brown and then go black and then grey like kind of the last one but then where are they going to go now I wanted that to be a bit longer to denote the back of the book so I think I might put that behind these like that and they go on there that's actually quite a decent stack, isn't it, actually? So, yeah. So, I'm, yeah, happy with those. Okay, so let's get this going. I'm hoping this will go through it. So, it's two and a half. No, that's not going to be the middle, though, Dave. Maybe get the big bite. Nom, 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 nom. Um, yeah. So, I don't know why the nom, 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 nom came in. Um... So if it's two and a half, half of two and a half is one and a, oh, hang on, what, what, what? Oh, right, okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Three, what are we on? Three sixteenths, is that a three sixteenth? Three sixteenths hole there. So we wanna go one and three quarters, is that right? Half of two is one, no, one and a quarter. One and a quarter should give us the middle. So I'll put that in there. That looks about the middle, and if I kind of rest it there and do that, yeah, that's fine. So Okay, so oh, I was thinking, where does the whole gubbins come go? And it's it falls out the bottom. I didn't realise it just fell out the bottom. I thought it, you had to open, you know, like a a hole puncher to get it out somehow. Uh, but no, it just falls out the bottom. That's how it comes out. So I'm hoping that's going to be big enough. Oh, it could be it could be pushing it, but never mind. We'll have a we'll have a go. Because I was thinking I wanted some kind of a thing over the top of it. But let's just see if it fits on first. Uh, maybe don't try and do them all at the same time, Dave. 
do a few actually they're not they're not going too bad they're going on oh actually they're going on really easily and it's a lot more space on there than i thought there was going to be i'm just eyeballing it so i'll put that lock that round so that's how they're going to kind of sit and i wanted to kind of put a, a thing over it so like a like a sleeve round it so i was thinking maybe some more of this card that i'm, that I'm not using so if i had this so, so i was thinking if i had it like this i wanted it to kind of sit round i'm thinking maybe if I, let's just put a kind of a, a line there let's get my scoreboard out now where's my scoreboard whatever that line that kind of comes to we go there so i was thinking if that then folds up i'm not worried i'm not worried about the ring at the minute so and then if we kind of have it so that it folds maybe so let's just have a look so it kind of folds like Maybe like there, wherever that is now. Line that up. Well, it's kind of sits there, doesn't it? Oh, I should have done the other other side, but never mind. And it kind of sits like that. And I know it doesn't completely cover it. Am I going to be worried about that? Oh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do. Yeah, so let's just kind of go with that. Let's go for the right width. So we know how wide this is. So we know it's two and a half inches wide, these. Um, so if we put this down to being three, I think. That's the three line there. three and that will sit round just get that all level a bit it's gonna sit round there it's gonna go around there and what I thought was then if that kind of goes through the middle of here right I was thinking if I put a hole two holes here and this kind of then loops around it but I don't know whether that will work Maybe it needs to have a hole in the back and one in the top. Or a slot in the top. Maybe I should do a slot. Okay, so let's go the middle of let's find the middle of there, which is one and a half, Dave. There's a ruler would be nice. There's a rule, a ruler would be nice. There we go. Put them away. Look at me, tidying up, that's what the problem is. Tidying up. Um and a pencil yeah one and a half oh that's a terrible pencil let me put that on, on this bit as well so hang on is that right yeah no that's right so i was thinking if i put a hole in this bit in the back in the middle like I don't know where I don't know where so I was thinking it's going to stick out the back about that round there so if I'm, it's going to stick out the back it's going to be fairly low about there about there Slightly lower than that. Let's put that there. And then I'm going to put a hole. Yeah, I'm going to put a hole in here. And 
and see what that looks like and then see if I need to make it a slot. Let's do that first. So unpin there. We're going to go out through the back of there and in through the top of there. Is that right? No, 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 Dave, no, Dave, no, Dave. That's going to get it's going to be that way round. No, don't pull them all off the thing. Just going to see if it works before I kind of commit. It sits like that then. So I think it needs to be. Yeah, that needs to be a slot, that bit. I think, anyway. Take that off. So this front bit that is actually just a, a thing needs to be a slot. A thing. A thing. Um. But my slot punch won't reach far enough. Reach for the stars. Climb every mountain. Reach for the stars. Okay. Climb every mountain. Okay. I think then. Right. Let's put another hole there. So what I've done is I've just put another hole there and I'm going to join those two up. That's, I think that's how I'm going to work it. Um, no he's not. Bear with me while I find my blade. Oh, I found it. It's being melodramatic now I want a ruler there. If I join these two holes up, then that will make a slot. I'll do the same on that side of the hole. Cool. Okay, so hopefully now that will mean that this can go through there. And that will sit. Oh, Dave. Wrong way round, Dave. Wrong way. The wrong trousers, Dave. Get it right, Dave. Get it right. You're going to do it. Do it right. That can sit in there. So, kind of, kind of what I was thinking. Doesn't really sit, though. What's th is that because of that? I think it needs to come further down, you know. I think that needs to come down to about out there. Okay, so let's do that. Don't take all of the things off the ring, Dave. Just get the. Why won't we come out? Why aren't we coming out? Why can't I get it? I've got it out, in. So, oh, there you go. So, let's try that again. Um, get this. Back in. Pop that, hopefully, in the middle. Do, it'll do. And then just join those two down. Not perfect, but you know, tell me what is. So I'm hoping that this will fit now. Do I need to do it another test fit? Probably. Yeah, that's all right. That's not too bad. That's fine. Okay, so let's just let's inkify this now. No, Dave. So, 
Let's give this a bit of a judge. that way yeah okay so that's how a little thing probably could have done with a bit of scoring it better on that but it's fine it goes together nicely so that all all sit together no well, it's kind of well all sit together it, it's certainly if I'd had two rings, it would have sat together better because they wouldn't have wanted to separate and go their own separate ways. But at least that kind of sits nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with the way that that is, actually. Um, it will kind of drop down over time, gravity, etc. Perhaps it could have done with being creased slightly you know, further down, but further up, I mean. But it's fine, I'm happy with it. Um, so let's put a label on it and then we can, you know, call it a, call it a day. Should we, use, should we use some of this? So this is some paper off a packet of flowers, of the wrap round of some flowers. So, you know, you know what we're like, ever, ever the hoarder, we have to go, oh, I can't, I can't possibly throw that away. I'm going to have to use that. And that's where I am. <laughs> So I'm going to use these two, and I'm going to stamp them in, I don't know, maybe in, um, maybe in red. I don't know what it'll look like on the green, but, oh no, that's got black on it. Let's use the black, Dave, otherwise you're going to cross-contaminate. Stamp those two. Ooh, I know I keep saying, but I love the smell of that. Almondy. Okay, so we cut them out. Okay, scissors. That's fine. And then I'm going to go through and do them all. Mustard stain. Okay. And then I'll do the rest, or I'll do the rest off camera actually, to be fair. So what I'll do is I will give this a number. Let's give get this stamp out. I like this stamp, so just come up with a random number. 176, that's fine. Um, we'll do a signature. And then I'll give that another number on there. I don't know. Everything, I think everything's had this number on it. So it's a bit of a floozy, this number. It's been everywhere. So this claret. I don't know what the claret looks like on this, but it's not claret, is it? Oh, it's, no, it's not claret. It's Chianti. <laughs> Stop it. Every time. Stop it. Okay, so I'm just going to overlap those. I don't know whether it's actually paper or might be some kind of a plasticated paper because it kind of smudges a bit the ink so. and we could do with maybe uh, there you know, maybe one of these labels or something Maybe that. 
it says sample text, but like it's a, a, a sort of a stamp with a sample bit. I think it's a Tracy label. Maybe that. <laughs> Get in there. Go. Right, let's. This is a sticky back one, but I'm going to give it a bit of an ink. A sticky back one anyway oh, it is <laughs> i have been i have spent a few more than a few times trying to peel the back off something that isn't a sticky back thing there we go so that's it and we have done another thing for margo so that we've got a nice sample a fabric sample book now so i hope you enjoyed that that's something a bit different for me anyway so um we'll sit nicely on margot's desk um and i will yeah so i will see you in the next video so hope i'm i'm planning maybe a box next um and then we'll do something else on the friday like i say just toying with that idea of that kind of sequence of events so and let me know what you think anyway so you all have a lovely day um or morning or afternoon or whatever time it is with you uh, don't forget, my name is Dasha Dave, and I love you all without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I will see you on Wednesday in my next video. You all take care. Lots of love from me. Lots of hugs. Um, lots of love from Margot, from uh, Seth, and from Brian, and from the dog, and from uh, Vic. And I'm going now. All right, I'm all out of kisses. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without. Shh. Bye.